Healthcare associated infections affect about 700,000 patients annually, and this leads to about 75,000 deaths. So we know that it's a, a very important issue. When we think of, of contamination of, of patients' room, there's the hard surfaces we think about, such as tray tables, call bells, intravenous poles, uh, toilets, and then the more porous surfaces, such as curtains, pathogens such as MRSA, uh, C. diff for short, VRE, and these tend to contaminate really the hard surfaces in a patient's room. We performed a systematic overview looking at studies that focused on environmental cleaning and disinfection, as well as monitoring and implementation of the hard surfaces or the high-touch surfaces in patients' rooms. We were basically trying to address three questions. What interventions exist to clean and disinfect hospital services to prevent healthcare-acquired infection? How can hospitals ensure that when they clean the rooms, the rooms are actually cleaned well? And then the third question we were asking was about methods that could increase the effectiveness of environmental cleaning or monitoring. So what is the infrastructure like in the hospital where environmental services is organized? Is it organized in a Department of Infection Control? Is it outsourced to a company? Training and education of staff. Are you calling staff housekeeping? or are you calling them environmental services technicians? We found that there were a lot of uh, mixed conclusions, for example, in terms of which disinfectants work better than another. We also found a lot of new studies looking at uh, newer disinfection modalities. So for example, automated no-touch technology, such as ultraviolet light disinfection and use of hydrogen peroxide vapor, as well as a lot of recent studies focused on newer monitoring technology. So for example, ATP bioluminescence and ultraviolet light fluorescent surface markers. The ultimate goal of this work is to reduce hospital-acquired infections. Most of the studies that we looked at were looking at uh, the effectiveness of single agents in cleaning or disinfecting, or the effectiveness of single monitoring strategies. They weren't comparing one agent to another to see which was more effective, or they weren't comparing one monitoring strategy to another. The outcomes that they were using were mostly surface contamination, and they weren't outcomes that matter to patients, like do I get colonized less frequently if you use one agent versus another, or is my chance of infection less if you use one agent versus another? And there were very few randomized controlled trials. So when you look at the overall evidence base for this area, which is preventing uh, healthcare acquired infections by uh, reducing environmental contamination. There were very few studies available to guide our actions. One of the reasons we're interested in publishing in Annals of Internal Medicine is because it's read so often by clinicians who are internists in a variety of specialties, uh, as well as policymakers and regulators. Many of my clinician colleagues. Uh, don't necessarily have an appreciation for the complexity of environmental cleaning in hospitals. And my hope would be that reviewing this article would help them better understand the importance of, of those approaches.